Psalm 37, verse 1. A psalm of David, fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Shalom. First and foremost, all praises go to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechah Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the elder bishops of the great millstone, as well as you sincere Akim out there pushing this truth to the four corners of the earth to you. I say Shalom. And as well as you sincere Akwath out there, the sisters of the nation of Israel, to you I also say Shalom. Stay diligent in this time. Continue to draw nigh unto the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Pray without ceasing. Keep the commandments until we out of here. All right. <clears throat> so back at you again in the title of this lesson is the wicked shall perish. All right. And as as we all know, we in that season of judgment right now. All right. The other apostle Tahar labeled this year 2022 as the year of the most high turning up. And so far through prophecy, that's all we've been seeing. All right, we've been seeing all these natural disasters. We've been seeing all this economic turmoil, tensions with the nations. All right, and we know what's coming because the word, the word, according to prophecy, gives us the future, man. You know, that's what prophesy means to say before. So knowing that we have the scriptures and we know what's coming. As the men of the Lord, we've been set up through the spirit to come out to warn our people, all right, to to, you know, give our people exhortation to turn from their wickedness and turn back unto the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to not take for granted the sacrifice that our Lord Yahweh Shai made for us as a nation. And the wicked of our people, the two thirds, lest they repent in these last days. They going to perish as well, right along with the wicked, which according to the Bible is Esau, Edom. All right. And hey, let's just keep it real. Knowing what we know, being the men of the Lord, being the prophets, we can confidently say that this place, Babylon the Great, don't have that much longer, that this whole entire Babylonian system don't have that much longer. We just here for the meantime, we praying we watching for the signs, you know, but we know in the spirit and we know according to prophecy that, yo, we ain't got no much longer in this place. So that's why we so diligent. That's why we so fervent right now in the spirit to get ourselves right with the Lord before he make his return. Because one thing that you don't want to be in the short time to come is you don't want to be on the Lord's bad side. You don't want to be on the wrong side of judgment. You don't want the wrath of the Lord. You want the you want the tender mercies of the Lord. You want the salvation that's coming. Understand? You don't want to get caught up with the heathen nations with, with Esau and that judgment. All right. And we know according to the scriptures that say that it's not the Lord's will that anyone should perish of Israel. But we also know according to the scriptures that all our people is not going to make it. You know? Like two thirds of our people that's out here being hard headed, being stiff headed, being rebellious, speaking blasphemies against the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, they got to come in too. You know, you want to attack the prophets, you want to slander, you want to side with the enemy against your brothers. Well, hey, the Most High is going to remember that, man. And unless you sincerely repent and come back, to keeping the law, statutes, and commandments come back to the heritage of you being an Israelite in these last days, you're going to perish right along with the wicked. So we in Psalms 37 right now, and let's jump down <coughs> to verse 7. And it says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Which, who is that speaking about? That's speaking about the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. All right? He is the one that's bringing wicked devices to pass. He is the one that's deceiving the whole entire earth. He's the one that's deceived you two-third Israelites to believe that you're not an Israelite. And to believe and to make you believe that the Bible is the so-called white man's book and that it's not real. 
All right. The enemy seduced you into believing these things. So unless you come out of these philosophies that the so-called white man has brought unto you, you're going to be destroyed. Bottom line. And it says, verse eight, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself at any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. See that? So that's the reward. Those that wait upon the Lord, those that trust in the Lord, those that have faith, they shall inherit the earth, man. All right. So that's what we want. That's what every sincere brother and sister that's in this truth and that's keeping the commandments should be, uh, you know, hoping for in this time. That's the only thing to hope for, that the Lord have mercy. All right. Verse 10, for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. And that's what's coming to the wicked, man. All right? That's what's coming to the wicked, Esau, Edom. And, hey, Esau trying to take two-thirds two -thirds of you jakes right along with him. All right? So, listen, that's why we tell our people, don't be a two-thirds. Hear what we telling you. Listen to the words of the men of the Lord. Because, hey, when you buck up against the scriptures, it's really not us that you bucking up against. Because we just been sent out here to give you the message. We just been sent out to prophesy, thus saith the Lord. If you reject the Bible, if you reject the scriptures, if you reject the teaching, the proper breakdowns of the scriptures, then you really rejecting Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because every time you see us on the street corners or, or, we, or we make these videos, that's the Lord extending his hand unto you to give you salvation. And when you reject the word, that's like you slapping the Lord's hand away. That's like you spitting in, in you know, the Lord's face, man. Understand? So what's going to happen if you do that? You're going to be destroyed because you're rejecting the salvation of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hence why this lesson is titled, The Wicked Shall Perish, because that's the only outcome that's, that's, that's going to come for the wicked. All right. And these wicked people in this world, they don't have no idea what's coming. You see. The Lord has has blessed his men to have the wisdom, knowledge and understanding, to have the insight for what's coming in these last days and to warn the people. See, and, and people take this for granted because they figure more or less that they try to make it in this world when they don't even consider that this world is passing away. It's nothing left to hold on to. It's nothing left to hope in, in this world because this thing very, very soon is about to change. The world is, is already changing and it's going to continue to change. So it's either you're going to change with it, which the only change that's coming to this world is a complete satanic takeover. That's 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 what these rich elites, that's what these, you know, top of the line, uh, you know, Edomite bankers, that's what they have in plan for the planet Earth. They looking to come in like a flood, as the scriptures say. Because they know they got a short time. So now they got to come in full force. All right. And if you ain't down with their system, if you not down with the beast, then guess what? You're going to suffer. And, and if you're not prepared through the spirit to go through hardships, if you're not built up on your solid foundation, which is these scriptures, man, which is Yahweh Shai, then guess what? You're going to give in to the beast and you're going to be destroyed right along with the beast. All right. That's what's coming for you. So, like I said, you don't want to be on the wrong side of judgment. You don't want to be one of those Israelites that you're going to be like, damn, I wish I would have listened to them brothers out there. I wish I would have. You know, you, you don't want to be like that. You want to take heed now. You want to come back to the Lord while you still got the, the, the uh, liberty to 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 do so. Because once you because listen, once that judgment come. Once you start seeing them ICBM missiles rain down from, from the heavens, you start seeing people start eating each other. Places start blowing up. Once you see the chariots in the sky, yo, it's too late. It's too late because all that time that you had to get yourself right, when stuff was calm, when, 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 you know, when, when, when stuff was still reasonably comfortable for you to do so, you didn't take that because you didn't believe that's what really that's all it comes down to is 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 your belief where's your faith at see we actually believe 
<laughs> because we believe that the judgment is coming. We believe that the kingdom is that the kingdom of heaven, Salakia, is nigh at hand. That is very near. Hence, why we're trying to do all we can right now through the grace and mercy, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to get ourselves right, that we may be counted worthy to escape the things that's coming upon the planet Earth, to escape the evil. All right, that, that we may hide in that strong tower, which is the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai. That's what we're trying to be at. We ain't trying to be caught up in the judgment of the world because at the end of the day, you're trying to be the first fruits of that resurrection, man. You're trying to reign in the kingdom with Yahweh Shai for that first thousand year period. That's what we're striving for. And, and you know, Lord willing, <clears throat> Lord willing, you know, brothers can be counted of that precious out to be able to rule with the, our Lord Yahweh Shah for that thousand year period to be the priest and the kings of, of of the earth. You know, that's what we got our, our eyes set on. And if you don't got your eyes, if you don't got your spirit inclined to that, anything else that you hoping in is vanity. There's nothing in it. It's not going to profit you. All right. So now. Let's jump to verse 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotted against the just and gnashes upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him for he see that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. OK, and that's what Esau, that's what the wicked is about to come in and do, because we are the ones that speaking upright conversation. Who else other than the Israelites is speaking upright conversation in the earth right now? You can just look at Christianity. What the hell are they talking about? Where are the Christian pastors that are supposed to be speaking about all this wickedness that's going on within the planet Earth? You're not hearing nothing from them. Where are the prominent Christian pastors that are supposed to be raised up? Condemning the evil, condemning the wickedness that's going on within Babylon the Great. But you see, a lot of these guys have been paid off, all right? And the guys that are speaking out, their voice is not loud enough to make a difference because nobody takes Christianity serious no more, all right? We really the only ones out here that's pushing this truth like that. Thus saith the Lord, all right? We really the only ones doing it. And that's and that's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Understand? So hey, you gotta see what's going on. You have to put your mind in that space to where, yo, this like this is it. Really, sometime I'm not even gonna say sometime. Like your mind has to be in that mode to where you in survival mode. But in the spirit though. You in survival mode to make it to the kingdom. It's like you 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 have to put yourself there to where you don't have anything. To where that's that's your only hope. That's where brothers' minds have to be at in this time. Because you can't get sidetracked. You can't look, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't look back into the world and, and miss you know what I'm saying? There's nothing to miss in the world. All that's in the world is gonna disappoint you. Okay? These things are not stable. You can't take the things in this world with you when you leave up out of here. Hell, brother's not even going on to the chariots with these, you know, you know, mortal bodies. You're going to have a whole new body once you get onto them chariots. So that's the that's that's the hope. That's the that's the fate that. You know, brothers and sisters should have in this time, man. You know, and, and, and you know, we can't stress that enough. All right. So now let's jump down to verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine, they shall be justified, which the days of famine is right around the corner. All right. It's a serious problem with this food and brothers going to the articles. We going to the, the, the uh, you know, news reports all the time speaking about this famine, speaking about this economic collapse that's coming, speaking about the NWO. The new B system that's coming upon the planet Earth. Like at this point, we sound like a broken record, but that's what we have to be. Because guess what? The prophets of old, they did the same thing. They kept saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. Why? Because that's what the scriptures say. We don't have nothing new to, new to you know bring out. 
There are no new breakdowns. There are, you know, there there is no new information to bring out. Everything that we need to know that's that's you know uh, profitable for our salvation is already here. It's already out there. So we, you know, the only thing new that we bringing out is 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 prophecy. <laughs> that's it. The only thing new that we bringing out is prophecy because we living through it right now. Every day that passed by is something new. It's something new happening. So we, that's the only thing new that we bringing out. But the message is still the same. Repent. Turn back unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Come out of the world. Stop believing in these vain philosophies. Stop trusting in, in you know, the rudiments of this life because it's, it's, it's not going to profit you. This this world cannot give you everlasting life, man. And, and that's the bottom line. You can't get nothing out of this world. All that's in this world is going to be disappointment for you. Psalm 37 verse 20. But the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke. Shall they consume away? So there you go. That's the ultimate end of the wicked. That's the, you know, this is the ultimate end of those that come against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you have to realize something that there's no gray area with the Lord. You have to realize that you either for the Lord or you against him. It's not no straddling the fence. You know, it's not no lukewarm because the Lord told you that if you lukewarm, he's going to spit you out of his mouth. So it's either you hot for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or you just all the way to the left. You just all the way cold. In the time that's coming, you're going to see where a lot of people stand. You're going to see where, you know, people like to run their mouth and say that they serve the most high. Hey, well, you're going to see if they really serve the most high in the time to come. Because, yo, when stuff get real, you're going to see people true colors. And you're going to know, listen, even brothers that's in this truth, man. Because you got some brothers that's just going through the motions. You know, you got some brothers that, you know... They don't all the way believe, man. But listen, when all hell breaks loose, you're going to really see how strong a brother or or a sister faith is. You, you, you Listen, you're going to really see people true colors in this time to come. Trust me. You're going to see what people really are. Now, let's go ahead and get 2nd Ezra 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So today, as the prophets, we have been raised up in that same stead to speak in the ears of our people the words of prophecy, which is the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which who Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has put in our mouth to speak. So it's not us that that you know you know came upon this of our own strength. No, the Lord gave us these words to speak. The Lord gave us the understanding to, to break down the scriptures the, 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 the correct way to give the understanding to our people. That's that's what it's all about. Verse 2, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Alright? So, hey, man, <laughs> Says it all right there for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. The wages of sin is death. And ultimately, if you don't accept the sacrifice of our Lord Yahweh Shai to be your blood covering, then guess what? You're going to have to be your own sacrifice. Your own blood is going to have to pay for your sins. OK, and that's why a lot of people, especially a lot of our people, are going to be slain. In these judgments that's going to come upon the earth because they reject, they reject the sacrifice of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which that's the dumbest thing that you can do. You literally have free salvation in front of you, but you're going to throw that away because you think you got something better in the world. And our people just don't understand. Our people just don't get it. Our people just don't understand how important that this salvation is. You can't, you can't buy salvation. This, this salvation can't be bought and sold man this, this is a free gift and the fact that you was even born as an Israelite you should be trying to hold on to that as much as you possibly can you should be trying your hardest to, to you know retain that salvation you understand how blessed you are to be an Israelite 
You could have been born a damn heathen. You could have been born a damn Edomite. Do you understand that? Like, do you really understand that you have no control over the situation that you're in right now? The fact that you're an Israelite, the Lord, the Lord ordained that before the foundations of the earth was even laid, man. And here you are today. But you think just because you live in this world and people told you that the Bible is the white man's book, that is this and that. Nine times out of ten, you haven't even gone into the Bible. You was you was into religion. You was into Christianity. Was you know, I'm not gonna sit here in front. Christianity does bug a lot of our people out because Christianity is off. It don't teach you nothing. It teaches you religion, which defiles your spirit, man. It, it's not the truth. That's why when a lot of people leave the Christian church, they just reject the Bible altogether. Our people throw the baby out with the bathwater. But it's nothing wrong with the Bible. It's the people that use the Bible. Understand? Just like you got a hammer. A hammer is a tool that can be used to build things. That's really the purpose of a hammer. Now, you can use that same hammer to also, for the wrong purposes, to go and kill somebody. Now, are you going to look at the hammer and say that the hammer is, is, is uh, evil because somebody can use the hammer to go kill somebody? Or are you going to look at the person that used the hammer and say that they're evil for the purpose that they've perverted the original use of the hammer to be? So it was never the Bible that was the problem. It was the people that held the Bible up in their hands and said and, and gave you that this is the truth. This is the understanding. And that's why we've come out to clear up the confusion. We have come out to give you the proper understanding that saved the Lord of what the scriptures are all about, man. Whether you believe that we the prophets or not, when these when these judgments start to come, <laughs> When these, when these plagues start to hit the earth, which they already hitting right now, but when they start to hit on a massive scale, the scriptures say that you're going to know that a prophet has been among you. You're going to know that a prophet has been among you once these things start to come to pass. All right? <laughs> and like I said, these people have no idea what's coming upon the earth. All right? Because hey, the Lord is bringing some heavy judgment, famine, plague, and the sword, man. That's what's coming upon the planet earth. 2nd Ezra 16 verse 21 Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case because you can still go to the clubs, you can travel you can, you can, you know, buy food affordably you can, you know what I'm saying, have, have drip you know what I'm saying you think yourself that, that you're in good case you think everything all good you think life is, 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 you know, going up for you but you're not even considering you're not even considering the heavy plagues that the Lord is sending upon the planet Earth. You're not considering the evil. Let's read on. And even then shall evils grow upon Earth. See that? So, a, hey, the meantime, you thinking everything is good. You thinking that you comfortable. It did, did. And in, you know, five years, you about to have your dream life. Guess what? Evils grow upon the Earth. Right now, evils is growing upon the Earth. And you're not even considering. You're not even considering, man. Sword, famine, and great confusion. And all these things are coming for who? The wicked. It ain't coming. Listen, the, all the plagues and everything that's coming upon the planet Earth, it's not coming for the righteous. It's not coming for those who are, you know, have a relationship with the Lord. These things are coming for the wicked, those that reject the Lord. Those that reject the prophets, those that reject his word. Hey, these things are coming for these people. All right, because they love not the truth. So the Lord is going to give them over to, to, to vain afflictions, man. He, he's basically going to give them over to whatever their mind lusted after. And, and he's going to allow that to consume them and destroy them because they love not the truth. All right. So, hey. Don't be, <laughs> don't follow the wicked, man. Don't follow in the ways of the wicked. Turn away from these false philosophies. Come back to your true heritage, which is an Israelite of the nation of Israel, man. Keep the commandments. Turn back unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai while you still got the liberty to do so because, brothers and sisters, time is short. You know, time is short. And, hey, 
you may see brothers out there screaming it, <laughs> screaming at the top of their lungs, passionate about the word. Hey, well, that's because we love our people. And that's because we don't want to see none of our people perish. We don't want to see none of our people perish, man. Even those of our people that reject the words that we send. We want to see them saved, too. But we understand that all we can do is give the word and a hey, the most high is going to handle the rest. <clears throat> all right. So with that, I pray that this lesson has been edifying through the Rakha Kadash call. Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakha Kadash. Until next time, Shalom unto the elect. Come Yasha Allah in the Bible bar. Shalom.